Quick Measure on screen will help you to do your takeoffs from a CD, a PDF file, or any digital blueprint that you have downloaded from an online plans room or has been sent to you by email. You do your takeoffs directly on screen simply by using the mouse on your computer to click around the blueprint image displayed on your screen to do your takeoffs for square footage, linear footage, and item counts. Quick Measure on screen will help you take off any blueprint image in any digital file format, a PDF, a TIFF, bitmap, in whatever format the original blueprint was scanned. There is no digitizer equipment involved and no paper blueprints. You're simply using the mouse on your PC to click around the blueprint image on the screen to do your takeoffs for square footage, linear footage, and item counts. Quick Measure on screen will work fine in Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7 and does not require any special computer hardware although we do recommend a larger monitor from 24 to 27 inches. Quick Measure on screen will work fine for all building trades except for earthwork. If you have an interest in earthwork cut and fill takeoff on screen please call us at 1-800-731-3038. What you're looking at on the screen right now is a sample uh, Excel spreadsheet for doing drywall or interior takeoffs. It is a simplified version of an Excel spreadsheet, but it's meant to represent how you would use the Quick Measure program along with your own Excel spreadsheets. Quick Measure on screen will work by itself or any other Windows program, but we strongly recommend that the best way to use the Quick Measure on screen program is directly along with your own Excel spreadsheets that you've already set up for yourself. Quick Measure on screen is compatible with all versions of Excel. Uh, this happens to be Excel 2007, but you can also use the older versions from Office 2000 or 2003. How this works is when you load the Quick Measure program onto your PC, you would then start up one of your Excel spreadsheets and you'll see an add-in menu come up here at the top. So if we click on that, what that does is that brings up the Quick Measure menu and also the takeoff buttons here, which allow you to do your takeoffs off the PDF files. This button here, for instance, measures items by the linear foot. This button is for taking off items by the square foot, which is good for ceiling and floor areas. This button here allows you to do takeoffs of linear footages in sections and segments, which is ideal for doing uh, wall partition takeoffs, for instance. This is the count button here. It allows you to count items off the drawing doors, windows, columns, corners, whatever you need to count off the PDF. Uh, and this is a lookup button here. It allows you to go back and take a look at each and every item that you've taken off of each and every PDF sheet. All those quantities are directed back to your Excel spreadsheet here. And anytime you want to see where an individual quantity came from, you just click on the lookup button here. And it takes you directly back to that a specific PDF file or a range of sheets where that original quantity was taken off. Now to do our takeoff we can work in the quantity column here and we'll go out and we will get our uh, PDF files. We'll use the add button here. What that does is that'll take us out to um, either a CD or maybe we have some Windows folders that we've downloaded some drawings uh, you know, from an online plans room or maybe we've had some drawings emailed to us so we'll download those into various uh, Windows folders and make bid folders out of them. If we open up the floor plan folder here, you notice we have a, a bunch of PDFs in here. Now we can work on 15, 20, 30 different PDFs if we need to, uh, to put together our bid. And that way it makes it easier for you to go around and flip around various sheets uh, in case you need to look at some details or some specs. Now we'll start in our quantity column here and we'll go up and we'll hit the takeoff button here. What that does is that'll bring up the main screen of the quick measure uh, program here. Uh, and you'll notice the PDFs that we selected all came show up here in a tab format down at the bottom. And one thing that's handy is you can rename any of these because uh, you know one of the problems with these CDs is they don't necessarily provide a very good description of any of the PDF files that are on there. So you can actually right click down here and rename any of these uh, files here. That way it makes it that much easier for you to scroll around. Now what we're looking at here is a, uh, a full sheet that was scanned in, the original blueprint, uh, but it's been scanned in vertically, so we use the rotate image button up here that'll swing the draw around so we can work on it. For our screen handling features, we can use the scroll wheel on our mouse, and you see when we hit that, you notice how that allows us to zoom in very quickly, or zoom back out. We also have a grab feature here with the right hand mouse button here, and it just allows us to very smoothly maneuver around the drawing here in case we need to see anything. We also have a full sheet view down here in the lower left hand corner which allows us to uh, see exactly where we are on the blueprint. If we need to move around quickly we can kind of click on the lower right or the lower right, lower, uh, the upper right, or click back in the center. These screen handling features give us a really really good view of the drawing that we're working on just to make sure we don't uh, miss anything uh, when we do our takeoff. 
Now, you estimators out there that have used digitizers through the years know that you have to apply a scale to the sheet that you're going to be working on here. So we'll find a, uh, a dimension line or a graphic scale somewhere. If there are no dimensions marked on the drawing, we can always use a 3-0 or a 6-0 doorway or a column line. Now, apply our scale. We'll use the scale button in the upper left-hand corner here. We'll click on that. And to apply our scale to this sheet, we'll simply mouse click on one end of the dimension line, swing over to the other side, hit the OK Done button up here at the top, and then what we can do is we actually type in that that was 32 feet 6 inches, just like it said there on the drawing, and that will apply the scale to, the, uh, to this drawing. Now, once you've scaled drawing, it'll stay scaled, so anytime you come back to it, it's going to keep, uh, keep that drawing there. That scale there. Now we need to do, let's start with maybe a square footage takeoff here for ceiling. So we'll click on that item here. So we're going to do an area takeoff. And we can actually color code various items just like we would with a highlighter on a paper set of plans. So we'll select, let's say, for a red color. Kind of zoom in here a little bit. Now to take off for the ceiling for a square footage, we'll just simply click around the perimeter of the, uh, of the ceiling that we want to do a takeoff on here. And you notice you can kind of skip around to whatever. Uh, item you want to take, do a takeoff one, it really doesn't matter what the, what the shape is of the area that you want to measure. Just kind of come back to where you started. Now you see, you're going to see here that it leaves a visual image of what we're doing there. And we can even do a radial or a odd shapes, you know, even a circular shape there if you want. You can trace with your mouse or you can just hit a couple extra points like we're doing here. Kind of go around the perimeter, so it really doesn't matter what, uh, what size, uh, what the shape is. And we'll grab another ceiling over here. So we're just clicking with our mouse as we go around the perimeter of the ceiling here. Now we can kind of zoom back out here. Now it shows you exactly what you did off this PDF sheet. That's not going to be stored for you. And you can also print that out on a sheet of paper and give it to the guys in the field if you need to. But when we're finished, we hit the OK Done button. You notice what that does is that'll transfer that quantity directly back to that particular cell of our Excel spreadsheet. Anytime we have a question about where that quantity came from, we can just use our lookup button up here. And it'll take us right back to that sheet or a range of PDF sheets where we did that original takeoff of that particular type of ceiling. Now to go back here, we can go back to our takeoff buttons again. And let's say we want to start doing that, maybe some wall takeoffs or whatever. So we'll highlight a particular type of wall that we want to take off here. We can also then select a, a particular type of uh, color that we want to apply to that wall. Let's use a green line here with a box through it to kind of... It makes it really easy to see what you're doing here. Now we go around, we can look for, uh, we selected for the A2s here, so we have, uh, we have one of those right here. We're just going to simply mouse click on either end of the walls that we measure. You kind of search around for all the, uh, the A2s that you would see here on the drawing. So we're simply mouse clicking on either end of the, uh, of the wall run that we, that we like to measure here. We kind of, kind of go around and see where they have all the A2s here for us to measure. We've got a couple right here. You notice how we just mouse click on either end of the wall and it leaves a, a visual image for us so we can always go back and see where we got all the A2s from. I kind of want to pull back here. You can see how it's marking everything up for us. See how we have now have a visual image of everything we've done. As soon as I hit the Done button, by the way, you notice again, it transfers that quantity, 206 linear feet, back to uh, our spreadsheet there, exactly where we did the takeoff. And then, of course, you can, depending on how you set up your Excel spreadsheet, you have whatever quantities, uh, whatever uh, calculations and formulas is going to take care of it from there. We're just showing you how you get your original set of, uh, of quantities uh, from the PDF file here. So anytime we want, we can go back to the PDF sheet that we worked on. We can work on multiple sheets. Everything gets transferred back to uh, that original uh, cell where we did the takeoff for each particular work item that we worked through on our spreadsheet here. So this can now be printed out on a sheet of paper, uh, but everything is, like I mentioned before, is going to be stored back to the original uh, Excel spreadsheet where we're working. Now, for a more detailed demonstration of the Quick Measure On Screen pro uh, program, please call us at 800 731-3038. You can even send us uh, some of your PDF files. We'll do a takeoff for you here right online. Even use a sample spreadsheet if you want to send that to us as well. We'll go through a complete takeoff for you here right online so you can get a really good idea as to how the Quick Measure on-screen program will work for you. We appreciate your time and good luck on those bids.